we are headed into the dragon's den. These bees are not happy at all. Oh my god, I've never been so happy to have a bee suit on. Take what you kilometers north of Hanoi and just a few away from China lies this picturesque city hidden in the mountains and we call it Dongwan. the final video in our Northern Vietnam series. Being amongst some of Vietnam's vibrant ethnic minorities has been nothing short of magical. I've learned how some of the local people live. And your father helped build this? Yes, the boy and the man in here, hmm. about 18 years old, they know how to build in the house. I've learned how some of them bathe. It's a lot like I'm in a giant cup of tea right now. And most importantly for me, I got to experience what they eat. It could be glorious. starting to understand no matter where I am in this country, never doubt Vietnam. We could run, run away. Today we're in Dong Van for one final foodie mission, hunting down a local sugary sweet delicacy. This is really great because I don't like bees at all, so I can't wait. Our mission will be dangerous, but when there's food on the line, nothing can stop me. We have traveled through hours of mountainous twists and turns to Northern Vietnam just to sample some of their incredibly unique mint honey. But first, we're gonna need a banh mi. Ready? Yeah. V and I are headed to the most popular and only bakery in town. And let me tell you, if you don't get along with the head baker here, good luck getting a cake for your kid's bar mitzvah. I talked to the bee man yesterday, and he said the best thing to pair with honey is the banh mi baguette bread. Correct. So let's go get some bread. They only have four left, should we get all four? Yeah. All right, fresh banh mi bread. Okay, um, oh hi ba yo. Is yo, is yo is four. Boom, banh mi. Okay. Come on. <laughs> Thank you, come on. We're gonna bring the bee man a birthday cake. Why a birthday cake? It's polite to bring someone a gift. Oh my God, she just finished making it. Nothing says hello like a birthday cake with a bad bee pun written in frosting. Have bee. Birthday, because it's a bee. That bee looks so cute. This is not his birthday. Okay. V, we're trying to make a fun video here. Let's go to the okay. honey man. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. You're gonna hear a lot of honking because these mountains are completely treacherous. It's a lot of really sharp turns, so you have to continuously warn other drivers that you're coming around the bend by honking. Uh, otherwise, you'll just slam into each other. It's some of the most beautiful landscape I've ever seen. Insane mountains, <laughs> deep valleys, green mountains. You know what, maybe I can just show you some drone shots. Enjoy. Try not to hold me down, feel alive. Our local honey expert is part of the male people, an ethnic group originating in China that began migrating southward in the 18th century due to political unrest. These new immigrants started calling themselves Hmong, which means free person. These days, there are about 1 million Hmong people living in Lai Chau, Lao Cai, and here in the Haiyang province. We have arrived at our bee destination, just in time for me to realize that I am actually terrified of bees. After delivering our cake and snapping a couple pics for Instagram, it's time to get down to business. Does he ever get stung? Anh đã bao giờ bị bị ong cắn chưa? Ong đốt thôi. So many times. <laughs> so many times. He's got the big thing I've heard about here is that there's mint honey. Can you explain mint honey or, or ask him what is unique about the honey here? The flower here is the peppermint flower, which is a kind of like wide mint growing on the rock highland mm. in this area. Bees make honey so they can eat it but I want to eat it too. These bees collect nectar from the Dongvan wild mint flower, fly it back home, then regurgitate it and pass it from one bee to another bee for a period of time until storing it in a wax cell. So if you're asking, wait, is honey just bee vomit? The answer is 
Yes, delicious bee vomit that I can't wait to try. Right over here, we have uh, all the bee boxes, and it's where the bees call home. If you look just down here, it's maybe 40 different boxes. The red is no good, so I don't want to get stung. I, I brought something, I'm going to show the, the bee man, let's go. Can you ask him if this is going to be good enough? Cái này có mặc vô thì đi ra bắt ông có ok không? Quá tốt. What's so though? good. So good. After reviewing Jollibee in a bee suit about four months ago, I finally have a practical use for this thing and I can't wait to put it to the test. Think of Whenever I travel, I always bring a full bee suit from Guardian Bee Apparel. Guardian Bee Apparel, the best place to get different types of bee apparel. V, are you ready? Okay, let's go. We're getting our smoke gun ready. We're going in like a SWAT team. They're gonna be flying away. Maybe they'll be trying to sting us, but it won't be possible. Wait, V, how are you doing with your outfit there? So I think I'm good. V is also safe um, with the camouflage hat, so we can't see her. So effing beautiful here. I can't get over it. Go ahead, V. Kai, do you need a hand? Take my hand, Kai. <laughs> we are headed into the dragon's den. You know it's getting serious. My dude here is putting on his mask. And look, this lady over here, Kai, so you might be wondering, well, why doesn't she have a bee suit on? Well, the bees don't really care if you're hanging out. Uh, they do care, though, if you're trying to fill their house with smoke. That's when they get a little upset. We're heading down Bee Avenue. Oh, wow. Oh. So as soon, oh my God, I've never been so happy to have a bee suit on. So he puts on the smoke. And these bees are not happy at all. Oh, I can you hold, it? hold it. Thousands of bees right now on this piece of wood. They've got their little honeycomb in there. He's pointing to the queen bee. It's a little bit bigger. It's about twice the length and a little bit darker. A big dark uh, tail, or or should I say, thorax. So V, there's one queen per house. Yeah, one queen per house. Okay, there you go. He's kind of shaking it like an etch a sketch, and that's I guess that's how you get the bees off. You just shake them off easily. Okay, yeah, give it to me. <laughs> Look at this. Thousands and thousands of bees just in this one house. There must be millions of bees just in this whole area. It's crazy. Oh, these poor guys, they're trying to run back to their little holes, their little honeycombs. Is that it? So I'm really surprised. We used very minimal smoke. He mostly just shook them off. Like the way he handles the bees, it's very kind of gentle almost. We're gonna go back and harvest this honey. Let's do it. When the bees fill a cell with honey, they cap the top to seal it for safe storage. Then the beekeeper slices the lid off, allowing the honey to flow freely. We have our three honey racks right here. They've told us we've got to move really quickly. There's still some bees in here. These poor guys, they're like, what is going on? From there, they're gonna put the uh, honey rack or bee rack into this machine. It's essentially a centrifuge for honey, right? That's the kind of science I like. He's putting in another one here to balance the weight out a little bit, I guess. So right now, we have these three honey racks in here. He's just spinning it around, and then, oh my god, all the honey is just flying off and is sticking to the wall. That's so cool. All the honey is coming off of the rack. It's slamming onto the wall of this cylinder right here and falling and kind of oozing down to the bottom. And just like that, that's it. Yeah. Here's how you know honey is good, my friend, is if when you buy it, it's in an old water bottle, okay? We're not looking for some like bear, cartoon picture of a bear on a bottle of honey. Oh, our bottle is shaped like a bear, isn't that cute? No, this is the real stuff. It's in a water bottle and that's how you know it's good. Fresh honey, it's ready to eat? Yeah. Yeah, okay, let's eat. Right here we have the honeycomb they were slicing off of the rack. Can we eat this directly? Yep. <sighs> Let's do it. Mo hai ba yo. Cheers. Mm. <laughs> wow. Crazy. No. Does he swallow this? No. So you know what it tastes like? Soft, waxy texture. And the honey, the honey is just amazing. It's not yeah. overly sweet. They haven't added a bunch of high fructose corn syrup or anything like that. It's just straight up honey. It is super sweet and there is still a bee inside. Okay. 
Wow. It is basically like a honey sponge. So as you bite into it, the honey is being released out. And then as you chew, it gets harder and harder. And then when it's too hard, then you just spit it up. What I love about almost everything I've done so far in the North is that it usually devolves into drinking at some point. So I heard they have alcohol made out of honey too. Is that true? <laughs> yeah, it's true. We've got. Oh my God. A giant container of honeycomb, and they've mixed it with corn wine. Most of Vietnam, all over the place, you can find rice wine. Here it's all about the corn wine, and they've mixed it with this giant plastic container of honey and honeycomb. Mo, hai ba, yo. yo. Ah, it's good, it's good, it's good. We got bread here, we got bread to chase it. A lot of corn flavor, not a ton of honey flavor, but a little bit. And, but look, this looks really cool, so I don't care. Thank you, my friend. Come on, em. Come on, em. Mm. Believe it or not, I don't have a lot of use for a giant bee suit like this. I was given this awesome bee suit by Guardian Bee Apparel, and so now I'm gonna pass it on to this man here, and hopefully he can make some use of it. Let's go give it to him now. My dude, uh, I don't need a bee suit, and you have bees, so I just wanna give you this bee suit. Does he think he'll actually use it? Yeah. All right, awesome. Uh, thank you again so much. This was awesome. I hope you can make use of this bee suit. Uh, if not, you can just make short films where you pretend like you're an astronaut, and that can be fun too. If you've missed any videos from our Northern Vietnam series, click the playlist link in the description box to play them all. If you're looking for an amazing way to experience the real Vietnam, well, let me tell you about a company called One Trip. One Trip is a company putting on tours all over Vietnam, currently in Saigon, Da Nang, and Hoi An. From food tours to adventure tours, One Trip has you covered. For more information about One Trip, click the links in the description down below. I will see you next week. A peace. Try